I'm going to show you how you can sleep with curly hair so that you don't totally ruin it while sleeping and can avoid starting from scratch every morning. How many times have you had a great wash day only to find that the very next morning it's completely ruined? This used to happen to me all the time, but there are actually some ways you can prevent this from happening and they're very simple and easy to do. So I'm gonna show you a couple different ways that you can protect your hair while you're sleeping. And at the end, I'll share how you can help your style last longer, even if you have to sleep on it. If you're new here, I'm Delilah, and I help people with curly hair like you get better at caring for and styling their hair so you can simplify your routine and wear your curls with confidence. Before I show you the different ways you can protect your hair at night, there are two super important things you have to do before you even go to bed to help your hair last throughout the night. And this is really only relevant if you wash at night. So if you are somebody who washes in the day, then these first two points are not gonna apply to you. But basically, if you wash at night, you wanna make sure that first, your hair is completely dry when you go to bed. So you don't want it to be even a little bit wet, 100% dry before you go to bed. And then two, you wanna allow at least an hour between when it's done drying and for you to go to bed. This is like what I call the setting time, the time for your hair to set so that it actually dries in this style and holds this style and it's less likely to get ruined at night because it's not so fresh anymore. Now the first one I'm gonna start off with is the one that I have found to be the most effective for most people. So this doesn't work for everybody, but it works for most people, so I would start here. And that is to use a bonnet, buff, silk scarf, or a cap, something that basically covers your hair while you're sleeping. So let me show you a couple of different options. You can get something that's like a cap like this and you would just put your hair into the cap just like you would if you were going to take a shower. You wanna make sure that when you're getting your hair in the cap, you're letting it pile on naturally on top and you're not kind of um, making like these wonky little, especially for fine hair like mine, but if your hair doesn't get ruined easily, this probably doesn't apply. But if you just kind of pick it up and put it in some random thing like this and pop it in a cap and sleep on it, you're gonna wake up and it's gonna have those marks. So I like to be extra careful. So you wanna flip. Okay, so getting it in the cap first. Get the hair in. And then you wanna stuff it all in there as carefully as you can. I am, this cap is too small for me, so I would need a bigger cap for this, but they make silk caps and lined caps and all kinds of different, and ones that are, I mean, I think my hair is just too long for this. This is better for shorter hair, but they make ones that are kind of long, it's like a really, like a sock almost. And the key is that you get it all in here and then this part is tight enough that it stays here. It might slide up throughout the night, but at least the length of your hair is protected down there and that will protect your hair while you're sleeping. So that's one option. You can use a hair buff. This is my personal favorite. This is what they use when they like go skiing or something. It's just a tube. And this is what I like to use because caps flatten my hair, it's too long. And my hair is so very easily disturbed so this works better for me. It will flatten out this, this part here and stretch it out a little bit, but I don't care because I don't have to refresh or anything. And so that's more, more important to me. So you're, wow, not doing a good job. Let's try that again. All right, so make sure that you grab one end <laughs> and it's on the bottom and you're basically pulling through the top here and I flip over always so that my hair falls through it and this one's really good for long hair because it like really stretches out as you can see like all of my hairs in here you can I just leave it like that and go to sleep some people like to tie the ends <laughs> they will take this and they will like tie it up if I can grab it here we go so that the hair doesn't fall out throughout the night. I don't really care about that, so I don't tie it up, you don't have to. And this will slide up as you're sleeping. Some people will get bobby pins and clip them, like right here. Um, sometimes I wake up and it's completely off, but usually it stays on. 
And if you get a silk one, it will slide off a lot easier. So I know it's kind of like people will say use silk because it doesn't rub on your hair, but your hair's not moving under this. So it doesn't matter, it doesn't need to be silk. If you do get silk, it's gonna slide off much easier. So I don't think it works as well. But this is a buff, this is my personal favorite. This is what most people like to use. You can also use a scarf, silk scarf, whatever scarf. I don't have a scarf, so I've got a towel, but Basically, you're gonna wrap your hair up like you would in a cap and sleep on it like that. So you can tie up your hair first. It doesn't really matter, but basically it's like plopping. So I don't think you can see it on the camera. Let me see if I come up here. Does this show? A little better, okay. So you're basically gonna do like plopping and tie it up. in the back and then get the front part then I'm gonna roll it up and then pull it forward and tie it here and now my hair is inside this scarf towel whatever it is that you use and it's kind of like loose in here, so it's not being squished or anything, but this part is tight because you tightened it on both ends and you can sleep with it like this. So this works really well too. A lot of people like to do this with a silk scarf. So that's another option. And different brands make different like sleeping caps and bonnets and stuff like that. There's some that come with like a, they're similar to like a shower cap like this and you put it on, it's looser, so it's easier to put on, but then you like pull a string and it like tightens it. So that's really cool because that can be customized to the size of your head. <laughs> Not everybody has the same size head. So those are some really easy, great options for you to use. The next thing you can try is a protective style. There are so many different types of protective styles out there. There is pineapple, Medusa, Medusa clipping, I think is what it's called braids, buns, I mean, whatever works for you. Most people will pineapple, which is when you take your hair and you very loosely pile it on top of your head, like as close to the front as possible. And then you use like a silk hair tie or something that's loose like that. And it's supposed to look like a pineapple, right? Your hair is here on top. So when you lay down, you're not squishing your hair, but you can still end up sleeping on this part. So some people will take this and they will clip it, this part here, so that this part doesn't move around too much. Some people will put it in a bun up here, put it in a braid. Those are all options. You can try and see what works for you. This doesn't work for me because it gives me a headache and it really pulls on my hair. So this all straightens out, all of this will straighten out and then I'll get this kink right here and my hair looks like crap then the next day. So this doesn't work for me, so it may not work for you, but a lot of people do that. If you have like really high density hair or really coarse hair, this works really well because your hair is not so easily disturbed like fine <laughs> hair is. Now there's also clipping options. So you can get like really tiny little butterfly clips and some people will just kind of take random sections of their hair and loosely clip it and they'll do the same thing in the back clip it in the front, kind of just getting it out of the face. So this is like making a ponytail out of clips. You're basically just using a bunch of different clips to get your hair up in a loose ponytail using all these clips. And that can help with people who have shorter hair that doesn't reach a ponytail. So if they're too short to reach a ponytail, you can use this. Or if your hair is like mine, it's fine and very easily disturbed. This can work because it's not pulling on the hair like it would be if you're using a hair tie or a hair buff. So that's a good option for those hair types and you know, any other way that you can put your hair up into a braid bun, it depends on your texture, which one will work for you. But those are some different options. Now I've mentioned a couple of times already that my fine hair is very prone to being disturbed when I mess with it. So if you've got fine hair, then less is more. And so doing something where you don't fuss with your hair as much, or you're not touching it as much, you're not moving it around as much, it's not very tight, the less you do, the better it's gonna look. So just with all of this that I've been doing 
for this video, like it's starting to stretch out my curls here. I can see like already this is stretched out and I haven't really done much. So imagine if I would have left any of those things on overnight, my hair would be totally ruined tomorrow. So less is more and be careful with if you have that hair type. Like I said, for me, the buff works best because it's the least amount of friction and pulling on the hair and it leaves like the length alone so that it can hold its curl pattern. Another thing you can try without using any kind of hairstyle or something to cover your hair, you can just leave your hair in its cast after you style. So this can be helpful if you wash at night. If you wash in the morning, you're probably not gonna wanna leave it in a cast as you go on about your day and you go to work. But if you wash at night and your hair does dry in a cast, you can sleep in that cast. And I would probably at least do a pineapple or a buff just, just to be sure, but sleeping in the cast helps it to hold the curl pattern overnight and prevents frizz because it's so hard and it takes like a lot of work to take the cast out. So while you're sleeping, the cast might come out, but it helps your hair from frizzing overnight. So that's another great option if you style your hair later in the day, you can just leave it in a cast and use something else like a buff or a silk pillowcase or a hair tie for a pineapple. That's a great option. The last thing you should do, and this is for everybody, whether you do a protective style or use a cap or anything else, you should also have a silk or satin pillowcase. I say this as your insurance. If your hairstyle falls out, if the buff comes out, if uh, for whatever reason <laughs> your first method fails, you've got the silk pillowcase and that will at least help prevent frizzing. So while you may be squishing your hair still by sleeping on the pillow, even if it's a silk pillowcase, you're not going to cause the amount of frizz you would if it was a regular cotton pillowcase. So it just helps prevent moisture loss in the hair and it helps prevent frizzing in the hair and it helps prevent tangling in the hair too. That's something a lot of people struggle with. So that's like the last thing that I wanna make sure that everybody does at a minimum, silk or satin. Which one you choose is really a personal preference. Silk is not vegan, so if you're vegan, you're gonna to wanna to go with satin. But satin doesn't breathe as well as silk does, so if you are a person who tends to get really hot when you're sleeping, then silk is gonna be a better option. So now that you know how to sleep with curly hair so you don't ruin it, what's your next step? If you really wanna make sure your curls last longer, then watch this video next. It's called Five Tips to Increase Hold in Naturally Curly Hair. In it, you'll learn exactly how you can make your curls last longer. So just click the video you see on your screen and I'll see you there.